Hello and welcome to 24 Hours In, the series where I spend 24 hours in a different location and we explore what it has to offer. We explore the accommodation, one paid activity, one free activity and lots of good food. So let's get going. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of 24 Hours In. I'm really excited to be doing this one because it's a place that holds many, many dear memories to my heart. And I have vlogged here quite a lot before. Um, but I'm going to show you some alternative things that maybe you wouldn't normally do here in Brighton. So up first I'm going to show you my accommodation. So I'm staying at the artist residence and so far I flipping love it. I think from what I gather that every room is slightly different um, and every room like has its own unique quirks but I flipping love it. Um, it's really cute and also most importantly it has a wonderful wonderful view apart from the I saw 360 um which i'm going to show you what it is right now this is the view and that's the i360 which i could go up but i feel like is that going to be any fun i don't know maybe i should do it and give an honest review of what the i360 is actually like because it's really getting in the way of my view it's, it's literally just a massive stick that would be right in the view of my beautiful beautiful view um but let me show you around the room so this is the room and as you can see very cozy i imagine when it's raining it's very freaking cozy we've got the tea station here always very much appreciate a caramel bar for some reason hotels have started doing these caramel bars and i love it when there is a teapot we've also obviously got a coffee machine although where are the pods oh they're in here wow they've really hooked us up here got some oh <gasps> what's this carbon neutral this is cool I don't know what what the heck. Why is it in a little? Why is it in a little box like that? That is so cool. But I don't know why it's in a box. Can they explain? Or is that part of the? Anyway, sorry. I'm getting far too excited about a tea bag. Um. Then we have some storage. Whoa, that is loud. Oh, we've got an even a little umbrella set set up. Is we have a lovely little orange armchair. The Smeg fridge, which has bottles of water and a little milky in it bed which we will do a bed test obviously very important and then the lovely little bathroom so this is the bathroom i am very excited about this bath it looks very deep very deep indeed and you have these brownie products which are really really nice however a bit of a bummer you will be charged if you take these and obviously you know me whenever i go to a hotel i like to take everything i possibly can so that's a bit of a bummer um lovely little robes and towels um basically you've got everything that you could ever need oh yeah baby also i love how high up it is it's so high up i love beds that are high up they have to like work to get into this is comfy but you know what needs to happen whenever you go to a hotel you have to get rid of the blanket and get rid of the cushion because goodness knows what they have touched. This is the first time I've ever stayed in the artist residence. I normally stay in the grand, um, but I thought I would try something new for this series. I wanna, I wanna do things that I've never done before. You may have seen some of my favorite spots like Gelato Gusto, people love that place. So many cool things to do here, Happy Mackey. Honestly, loads of different things, but we're doing things that I've never done before, all right? So we're trying new things so let's go for a little walk around and a little explore of the streets um 
So after I did a little bit of people watching from my window, which I love to do, I set off through the hotel into the creaky lift. These seem to be a very common theme in Brighton hotels. There is these tiny little slightly suspicious lifts, but it just adds to the vibe and the whole experience. And then I just went for a little walk around in the lanes um, before I went to get some dinner with my sister. Okay, so it is now time to go and grab dinner. And I have scoured online and there are loads of good eateries here in Brighton. Um, and I found one that looks sensational because it is supposedly, um, I think it's like one of the best reviewed in Brighton on TripAdvisor anyway. Actually, I later found out annoyingly that it is a sponsored best reviewed on TripAdvisor. It's just not actually the best reviewed, so you'll see this unfold. Um, so we're going to see if it lives up to the hype, but I'm going to go now because I want to go for a little stroll. I'm actually going with my sister. There is a lot, a lot of scaffolding up at the moment, um, but I also feel like any moment that I'm walking past, I'm going to see some YouTuber from the past, you know, from the YouTube Prime days. I feel like one's going to pop out. So this was a Mediterranean restaurant and the starters were probably the highlight. The fried halloumi sticks were honestly incredible and you also get complimentary hummus and flatbread which were equally delicious. The mains weren't anything to write home about but the service here was lovely and the vibe was really really nice and I would say that I probably wouldn't be rushing to go back but it was really good food but I definitely don't think it's the best place I've ever eaten in Brighton. There are definitely better places to visit. After dinner, we obviously went to do the free activity, which you have to do it if you're going to Brighton. It would be wrong not to. So we went to the pier and there's so much to explore in the pier. I actually just love going to like a classic British seaside town and playing in the arcades. We have got the cup of change and this can only mean one thing. We're on to a winner. 50p's going in. I'm going to be awful at this, I know it. You've got 60 seconds. Okay. Oh wait, have I done it? Oh, oh. It's not going to work, is it? Of course not. That is an outrage. It really is a trick. Oh, let's go again. Oh, that's so annoying. I just did it again and it did not work. It's so guy. Go on. What feels no, right? <laughs> you didn't wait for the right moment. I didn't realise you had to. <laughs> you have to wait for the bit on the I bottom. Didn't know that. We have one. Go on. No, you do it. I don't want No, to you do it. Do it. It feels no, right. It feels it. right. I feel this is this is the moment. Oh, no. This is it. I don't know when to do it. Just when it feels right. Oh. It is a murder on the dance floor. We are about to rip it up. And I know we're going to get very competitive. <laughs> Chloe's taking her cardigan off. I love absolutely tearing it up on a dance mat. I can't help it, but I love it. Right, we've done the quintessential pier things. And now it's time. Absolutely flipping it. I don't know what it is about donuts that are made in a British seaside town by the pier, but they just taste better. So we got our little donuts and they just mm, hit the spot, you know, they're deep fried and tossed in sugar, what's not to like? And then we strolled around and it was so nice because there's so much going on in the evenings in Brighton. There were people dancing, there were people skateboarding, there were people playing volleyball, they're literally all sorts and it's just fun to people watch um, and just stroll around and it was such a gorgeous evening to enjoy it. I am back at the hotel and I had such a fun afternoon um, and evening. It's so fun doing like 
the pier because it just brings back all these childhood memories and you can truly unleash your inner child and there's nothing I like more than unleashing my inner child. But I'm back, I'm in my robe because there's nothing I like more than a hotel bathrobe. Um, and I'm gonna treat myself to a little bath because you really have to test all the facilities when you're at a hotel. I know that actually some of the other rooms had a bath that was like looking out to the sea so you could sit in the bath whilst looking at the sea. However, even if we're not looking out to the sea, this is a perfect lid for my laptop. I can watch Friends, relax, Take it all in. That bath is running quicker than I've ever had a bath on before. That bath was flipping amazing. But I am about to go to bed. It is hot in this room. I mean, I did just have a bath, so that's probably why it's hot. But there's no air con or anything. So if you're planning to stay in this hotel in the heat of summer, would not recommend. Heat of winter, perfect because it is so cosy and comfy and just lovely in every way, shape and form. But it's hot. Good morning, Bikini Bottom. It is a new day here in Brighton, um, and I slept not the best. I don't know if it's because that sugary donut. Sugar before I sleep is never a good idea, and I was too excited. No, I was, I couldn't get to sleep. And then I got really hot, because it's quite hot in this room. And then I could hear the revelers singing happy birthday, and then I was thinking about my birthday. So it all just, it all just happened. Um, wasn't the best sleep I've ever had, but you know, we moved. The bed was really comfy. I think it was all factors in my own head. We're up, we're dressed, we had a lovely shower. Um, it was a really good shower. Weird, because I didn't have a shower curtain, but kind of liked it. Kind of felt quite free without a shower curtain. Felt like nothing was holding me back, you know? So we're gonna go and get breakfast at a place that I have seen spoken about online so much. I feel like, it's Brighton's equivalent to Gales, um, and it's called Flower Pot Bakery. So I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna sit on the beach because that's obviously the charm of Brighton. You can do everything, but you can do it on the beach. So you get your lunch, but you can eat it on the beach. You can chat, but you can chat on the beach. You can go on your phone, you can go on your phone on the beach. You can read, but you can read on the beach, you know? Um, so there are major, major perks to Brighton and it's being by the beach. So, um, I need to get myself dressed and ready. And when I tell you, it's literally like straight down there, there's a flower pot bakery. Um, and I'm gonna get some breakfast. I don't even know what I'm gonna get for breakfast, but we'll see where the day takes us. Um, I'm quite excited. I would like to, bum, 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 go on the ISOR 360. I wanna see if it is good or not. Um, so we're going to do that this morning um, and I'll give you my honest review because that's the whole point of me doing these is being like, yeah, do this, don't do this. Goodbye, lovely view. Goodbye, lovely room. Let's hit the road. I won't miss this creepy lift. So creepy. It is a flipping glorious day. Absolutely beautiful. Literally couldn't have asked for more because too much hotter and it would have been too hot. You know, might be too hot. I'm looking at the i360 and I'm so intrigued what it's going to be like because personally I love the London Eye and I know it has such a bad rap and people hate it but I love it okay there's no denying I think it's a great time I love a view <laughs> sue me so um I am intrigued if I like it or not my little spot and oh my days and I would love flower pot bakery I really do the staff was so nice in there and um, they just had really good looking food so I'm now sat with the west pier I think that is watching the waves with some water and my look at this beast no we lost the flake we lost the best flaky bit look at that it's absolutely massive should we give it a taste Freaking love a pan of shop Oh. Delicious. <laughs> so 
then we were off to do our paid activity, which was to go on the I-360. So you can come early and use the decking. So that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna sit on this chair whilst we wait for boarding, which is at half past, so we've got 20 minutes. It's quite fun because I can people watch and I love to people watch. Now, the i360 was built and had a lot of controversy about it. So I wanted to see, do I think it's worth it or not? And I won't lie, I actually had quite a good time on it. I think it's far too expensive for what it is, but I feel like tourist attractions are always far too expensive. But you could actually get a really, really good view. And I did quite have a nice time because there's these little bits and it tells you where's where. And it was just quite nice um, to just see Brighton from a different perspective. But I, again, don't know if I would race back to try it, but it was quite fun to see a different perspective of Brighton. I personally had a flipping amazing time. I love doing touristy things. I mean, if it works for a tourist, why wouldn't it work for me? Um, so I had really a lot of fun there. And I, I don't want to leave without getting gelato gusto because it's my favorite ice cream in the world. Like, honestly amazing. But they're not open yet. Um, but I'm gonna go and do another activity. My train is soon. I've gone back to the hotel and I've picked up my bag. And now I'm gonna go and walk around the lanes, which is one of the best things to do because there are so many cool shops there. Um, and see where the day takes us. You know what I mean? Just see what's on the horizon. It's also fun because on the i360, I was listening to a lot of people. That's the thing when you're by yourself, you can just be nosy. Um, and they were saying, they were giving some recommendations of places, so I picked up on those. Good to know what the locals think. They have so many lovely shops in Brighton that I could just spend all day browsing. In fact, I did. And then I went to pick up some lunch from Bagel Man because I knew I would need it on the train home. And this is such a good spot for bagels. You can literally get so many different things and they have vegan options. So no one gets left behind. And I tried this on the train and oh my flip in heck, it was delicious. So good. And then I went and had a fun time at one last activity. Right next to the train station, they have this place called the Brighton Toy and Model Museum. And I had the best time here. It's quite small and you can do it very quickly, but you also have access to it for the whole day. So if you decide you wanna go back later, you always can. But it was so much fun to see all these lovely little toys and models, I think because I wasn't expecting it. Um, and I just had a really, it was just very quaint and sweet and quite a traditional little stop to go and explore. And you could play with the trains. I just honestly was living my best life and it had lots of little factoids which I always love a little fact so I'd really recommend this place it's quite sweet um it won't take all day it's literally just probably half an hour an hour depending on how much you like trains and models but I really really enjoyed it and just like that, I caught the train home and I had my delicious delectable bagel. And that was the end of another 24 hours in episode. Please subscribe and stay tuned because I have more coming next week. That's it. You don't even have to wait that long for another one because I've already got them filmed and ready to go, baby.